for more videos, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. Now let's dive into it. Hello everyone. Today I will be showing you how you can share folders and files to other computers in your network. To get started, I've created this folder here called test one. And I want to share this folder with other users and computers in your network. So the first thing we need to do is we need to right click the folder and we're going to uh, click properties. Let's tap on sharing and we're looking for advanced sharing and we're going to click yes over here and um, let's click uh, share this folder and over here you can change the um, the shared name. Uh, you can add comments but we're just going to leave a default and let's um, click on permissions and over here uh, by default everyone has access to this folder but they can only read whatever is in the folder they cannot make changes to it they cannot delete it they cannot do anything but read of course you can change anything here if you give them full control they will have full control over the folder and files within the folder um, if you uh, we select change they will be able to read and write and make any changes to the to the folder or any documents within the folder but uh, for this demonstration we're just going to leave it read only and we're going to click ok and we're going to click ok again and notice that the this folder is located in the PC admins PC and this is the um, this is the address over here so we need to either copy this or write it down so once we do this um, I'm going to switch over to a different computer in the same network and show you how you can have access to this folder all the time, how you can map this drive and when you uh, turn on the computer this folder will be always available in your other computer but you will only have read-only access to this folder so I'm going to switch over to a different computer and show you how you can map it so i am now on a different computer and uh, we're going to open here file explorer and we're going to click this pc over here on the top you should see an option that says uh, map a network drive we're going to click here and over here you need to provide the address of uh, um, you need to provide the server name and the share name which in our case was uh, make always make sure you uh, you specify the 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 path so in our case was uh backslash backslash uh pc admins backslash test which was the name of the folder so you will type backslash backslash the computer name backslash test that was the name of our folder or you can also browse to it but um, it's better if you just specify the path so once you do that we're going to click finished and um, the computer will ask you for credential. Over here, you need to provide the credential for the computer where the folder is located. So in this case, I'm going to provide the credential for the PC admin PC. I'm going to put my username and the password. And this will be connecting to the test folder over on the other PC. When you do it for the first time, this may, may take a few minutes. So notice over here that um, we have now this drive over here. This is the folder that is on the on the other computer, on the PC admin computer. And um, something I wanna show you here is that if we open this folder, you will see the documents that I have in this folder. Of course, since we only, um, we only have um, read-only permission, we cannot make changes. We can only read the, fo the files and the folder but we cannot make any changes we cannot delete the, the files so let's go over here let's open test um, the test file and let's just try to make any let's try to write something here and see and see what happens so I notice that there is something there test um, and I'm just going to type uh, good good afternoon and if we try to save this file, 
notice that it will tell us that we only have a read-only permission and that we cannot um, change this, uh, this file, we can only read it. Something, something that I want to mention is that if you add any files to the folder, to the shared folder on the PC admin computers, uh, all those files will inherit the shared folder permission. Even if you add folders, we will also inherit the, the shared folder permissions. For more Windows tutorials, make sure you check the other ones uh, in my channel. And uh, thank you.